What's up, guys? Aaron Bennett here. Celsius updates. Dates have been extended. There is a spotting of Chrissy and Alex Mashinsky in New York by Tiffany Fong. But first, what I want to dive into really quick is if you do not have a ledger, you have one more day to get $30 in Bitcoin if you get one of the ledger devices. There's a link below. So if you want to pick one up, they're giving away $30 in Bitcoin. So what I'm going to cover in this video, the U.S. trustee is opposing the key employee incentive plan. Other people are opposing that as well, including Cam Cruz and other pro se creditors. And here we see that Celsius and the UCC made an update saying that they are extending the deadline to file the disclosure statement to April 28th. Why did they do that? I'll get into that in a moment. And finally, we have Tiffany Fong with BitBoy over at NFT New York. So the first story, we have the US trustee objecting to the motion for this key employee incentive plan. And essentially, this is going to provide 10 insiders up to two $2.86 million in bonuses. The TLDR of this motion is that in order for these people to get their bonuses, the U.S. trustee says it requires a little more than just the participants to do their job. And Simon is going over some of the other objections to this incentive program. We have Manny Main and Daniel Frischberg objecting to the motion. They say it's just a disguised CURP key employee retention plan with no real performance-based incentives or work required so similar to what the U.S. trustee said. Cam Cruz also says that these bonuses are unreasonable as compared with historical bonuses. And certain people should not be getting any bonuses because they could have been complicit in part of the crimes that Celsius committed. So there has been a lot of talk of other bidders coming in and outbidding Nova Wolf. And Simon says competition is heating up, can't wait to turn the Celsius scam into something useful and put our abused assets to work mining Bitcoin for creditors. And then we get Celsius and the UCC basically saying the same thing. Celsius said we continue to work with the UCC and Nova Wolf to prepare our disclosure statement. But at the same time, since filing the plan, we have continued to negotiate with other bidders to develop alternatives bids. As the bidding process continues, we will file our plan by April 28th. April 17th, so that is in a few days from now, is the final bid deadline for other bidders to compete with Nova Wolf. And they give some other reasons here in this motion why they are picking April 28th to file their disclosure statement. So what I am hoping is that there is a better bid than Nova Wolf, that earn people get more of their liquid crypto, that maybe we get more actual equity and and we don't get just a management share token. I'm hoping that people in loans don't have to wait six years to get their crypto back. I'm hoping that a better bid comes through and that the UCC actually sees it and objectively does what's best for us, the creditors. Nova Wolf said on April 13th that we wanted to wait after the disclosure statement was filed to host our next Twitter spaces, but we will host an hour long session next week. So we will see what happens with that as well. I will definitely be covering it. And now we have Tiffany Fong, a lot of you guys know her and follow her. She was the one that released the all hands meeting way back in maybe September or something that went over the Kelvin plan. If you don't remember Kelvin, this was what Celsius was talking about rebranding their company as. And there is still live a t-shirt on Chrissy Mashinsky, Alex Mashinsky's wife's company, usastrong.io, where there is a Kelvin t-shirt. So you can see Alex sitting right here and Chrissy on the stage. In this, there is a video that probably BitBoy was recording Tiffany trying to get an interview or get some questions answered by Alex's wife, Chrissy. You can see they go into maybe like a subway bathroom. I'm not quite sure. And there is definitely some security guards around them. And I believe that security that we the creditors are paying for, which is also pretty crazy. So these are some more pictures of Tiffany. He looks like paid security, but then heading to a post by Keith, which is pretty ridiculous. So Kirkland and Ellis has spent over $70,000 in creditor funds to potentially go after Tiffany Fong, which you can see everything that they are basically doing and how they are billing their hours. Now, this is our money. This is the creditor money. But what's crazy is that Tiffany literally had a source at Celsius, right? And she released information. She released info about the all hands meeting. She released info about Kelvin. She released other bids that the UCC was not going to even tell us were being offered. Some of them, I think, were much better than Nova Wolf. So Tiffany has been releasing great information information that has provided more transparency to this whole process, which I think is great. And basically everybody except Kirkland and Ellis and the UCC lawyers over at White and Case think so. 
We all want more transparency, and Tiffany has provided that with some of the leaks that she has done by her contacts with whoever she's talking to. And just to finish this video, Chrissy does not like Tiffany. There has been a lot of back and forth with the two of them. And Chrissy's store, USA.Strong, still has, to this day, an Unbankrupt Yourself t-shirt. Now, this was released because Unbank Yourself was kind of the motto of Celsius, which has so much irony, I don't even know where to start. But now, they still have an Unbankrupt Yourself t-shirt in multiple colors, which is insulting, in my opinion, and it should be insulting. And they even have the Banks Are Not Your Friends. Ironically, that was something that Alex was saying every single week, banks are not your friends, but guess what? Celsius ended up not being our friend. And then the Kelvin t-shirt. So when I saw the pictures of Alex and Chrissy, Chrissy was literally a speaker at a conference. I was shocked. You know, I was really, really surprised that they are doing this. I don't know if this is to the advice of their legal team saying, hey, we want you to look like nothing is going on. We don't want you to come across like you're hiding because that may show that you think that you're guilty of something. I don't know what their strategy is, but right now having over 300,000 people have over $100 that's been locked up and that we haven't had any access to in nine months and probably is going to go to the end of this year. And most likely we're not going to get 100% of our money back. And they are just out in the open pretending like nothing's happening. And I don't believe we've ever heard an apology from either of them. It kind of makes me sick and it's hard to see. And I'm sorry for posting these pictures if they are triggering, but I just wanted to let you know what's going on and how they are potentially going to bring some legal action against Tiffany also makes me sick. Spending over $70,000 of our money to do so. So guys, that is it for the video. I will leave links to Tiffany's Twitter below and also other things that I talked about in this video. So what are we waiting for? We are waiting until April 18th to hear what the judge has to say about the UCC filing a class suit for us. And that is going to be a very important day. If the judge denies that, some of us may want to find legal counsel. I do know a couple lawyers that have helped other people in the past. If you want to reach out to me on Twitter, I can share those people's names with you. But personally, I'm going to wait until April 18th until we hear from the judge. And hopefully we don't need to file claims individually because that would be absolutely ridiculous, like I talked about in my last video. So we are waiting until the 18th to hear more about these non-contract claims. And then the 28th of this month, so about two weeks or so, to see if another bidder comes along or we get the disclosure statement from Nova Wolf. So if you have not subscribed, make sure to do so. Subscribe to the station if you are a Celsius creditor, because I am making these videos all the time to keep you in the loop and let you guys know what you need to do. And again, if you do not have a hardware wallet, grab a Ledger. They are a solid company, and they are giving away $20 or $30, depending on which device you pick. And I believe that ends today. So go ahead and use my link below. It is an affiliate link. I get 10% of your order, but that helps me make these videos for you guys. Till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.